Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have got a home bargains haul to share with you. Um, popped in there to get sweetener and conditioner and spent £40. So um, it happens, we all do it. So yeah, I kind of went in, I wanted to look at a couple of things and ended up buying them. So yeah, oops. The first thing I've got, I can't show you the thing, but I can show you the box because I'm using it. Um, YouTube made me buy it. Uh, I think everybody I follow that does this kind of haul has bought one of these recently. Uh, this is a social media ring light. I've got it set up. It's all right. Like, I'm sat by the patio doors, so it's quite a bright day anyway, so I'm not sure about how much difference it's making, but yeah. It's okay. Um, over the years, like I've been doing YouTube videos since 2013, 2012, 2013. Um, it's it's a hobby, you know. I, I enjoy it. I haven't always been consistent, um, but it's just something I do for fun. YouTube, and as such, over the years, I've kind of spent quite a bit of money. I bought some cheap lights. I've spent good money on expensive lights. Um, like we have these rather posh soft box lights that now live in the garage because they are such a faff to set up to record a video. Um, same with cameras really, like uh, I must admit I have one of those fancy looking Canon things with a pop up top that the Michelax said you had to buy. Um, but this is being recorded on my phone because you know, your phone gets upgraded every 18 months and camera quality is awesome so I wanted to give it a go um, so far I'm liking it it was really easy to set up um, yeah and it was like nine quid the next big thing <laughs> normally when you buy stuff from home bargains everything's less than a fiver isn't it the light is was like nine pounds and this bad boy was 15 quid <laughs> oh I love him. Um, so this is going to go in Reuben's Easter basket. Um, I did mention the fact that I was doing Reuben in Easter basket um, on Instagram and a couple of you guys said you would be interested to see that. So I am going to do an Easter basket video, um, but I'm just waiting for a couple more bits to be delivered. So hopefully this will go up on Friday and that will go up the following Friday if everything is delivered on time. Um, but yeah, um, I just think he's really nice. He is huge though. Like, our heads are almost the same size. <laughs> um, yeah, he was 15 quid. Now, um, I have been looking for a Peter Rabbit toy and I must admit I was looking for something smaller. Um, but to get a proper one, I was looking at like 10, 11 quid anyway. So 15 pounds for this giant guy. I think it's a win. Um, the next couple of bits I picked up, I've got some Easter bags. Ruben's having an Easter box, but these are for gifts. So this is lovely. I love all the yellow you get at Easter. I just think it's so happy. Just as happy Easter time. It was 69p. And then this one, I don't know if the light is going to bleach out, actually. I feel like that. You might be able to see a bit better. It's a bunny in an egg and a chick. <laughs> Yeah, I think they were both 69p. Yeah, they were both 69p. Um, I've got two big bags of sweets. We've got Palma Violets, Lollies, Drumsticks, Refreshers, Love Hearts. I think it's like two for £1.50. Um, one of the little boys that I do a small thing for Easter for, um, doesn't do chocolate, doesn't do, so sweeties are needed rather than chocolate. I also picked up some of these, I've got four. These I've set out because I'm petrified I'm going to break them before Easter. Um, but yeah, I have a selection of bunnies and chicks. They're like iced cookies on lollipop sticks. I'm relatively sure these are like 79p or 89p 
and they've got really long dates on which kind of makes you think what kind of preservatives there are in them um obviously my child won't be eating one because we can't have this level of sugar but yeah i just thought they were really nice and i'm sure they were like i say 79p or 89p each so i got four of those but my paranoid state is now that i'm going to break them before we get to easter um one of the things i actually went in for conditioner this is by Cretans, 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 made in England, sunshine blonde with argan oil and chamomile. Um, I'm relatively sure I've tried this brand before, um, but I don't think I've tried this one. Like, I'm quite sure they do a purple range and that's what I've tried in the past. Uh, my hair isn't all that blonde, like, we're blonde down here. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Roots need doing massively. Um, but yeah, they didn't have a whole lot of conditioners on the shelf. Uh, they were restocking and I didn't really want to hang around. Um, so I just grabbed the one where I recognised the brand. Um, I also picked up some deodorant. This is Soft and Gentle Fresh Blossom Wild Rose and Vanilla. I really like the, is it a watermelon and lotus? I think, but um, I do like a rose scented thing. So yeah, it was a quid, which is a barb. I then got some Easter grass, even though they don't call it Easter grass, they call it shredded craft paper, but I call this Easter grass. Maybe it's a copyright thing, why they can't call it that. What, what do you guys call this stuff? Like, it's shredded paper um, and some will go in Ruben's Easter basket and some will go in the gift bag uh, but yeah again I'm relatively sure that it was less than a quid I picked up these definitely Instagram made me buy it or YouTube I don't know uh, bliss bars now I've tried the chewy ones I really like the like there's a caramel chewy one I think it's really nice um, but I think these are relatively new the crispy delight version these are 94 calories each uh, apparently they taste like old school lime bars from what i saw on instagram so i've got that uh what else what else oh the sweetener that is one of the things i went into oh i wonder actually i'm gonna be really geeky right now Oh, okay, that's fine. So, <laughs> the sweetener, that, like, there was a big label on the shelf saying that these were one ninety nine, and it was the only sweetener there, but it says recommended retail, a pound, and I was like, hmm, but I've just looked, and they've charged me 79p for it, so, win. But yeah, sweetener. I don't have sweetener in tea, but I do have sweetener in coffee. Next thing, um, not the one I wanted, if I'm honest, I did see a lot of people have got this wooden um, Easter bunting from, from Home Bargains. Um, and as I said, I didn't go in especially to get it, but I was kind of like, oh, if they have it, I'll probably pick that up. Um, but to be fair, they didn't have, like, I think I pretty much picked up one of all the Easter things they had. Um, and I spoke to the lady that was, again, in, like, she was titivating the area. Like, oh, do you think you'll have more Easter stuff in before Easter? And she was like, no, we've just been annihilated. Like, it was all the kids went back to school and the mums came in and emptied the Easter section. Just like, once this is gone, that's it. Um, obviously, our, not obviously, but our home bargains isn't the biggest. So if you've got a bigger store, you might be able to still get the wooden bunting. Um, but this was quite fun anyway. These, these carrot bunting. I think John is truly going to hate this, but I think it's cute. I know Reuben will not remember this Easter, um, but I will. And trying to make his first Easter as cute as possible. While I'm on maternity leave, uh, I can do the extra couple of bits, can't I? And we'll vlog it so we'll, he can, Reuben can look back at it when he's older and probably cringe about how embarrassing his mummy is. But, you know, I thought that was cute. 
The other thing I picked up was this tinsel garland, like pastel bunnies. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but it was quite sure it was less than 50p. I thought it was fun. Um, I already have a box of Easter decorations or spring decor in the garage. Um, but yeah, it's fun. I will find something to do with it. What else do we have? Oh, oh I picked these up for Reuben. Um, these are Heinz by Nature, made with natural ingredients and vitamin C, fruity banana custard. Um, he's never tried custard, but he likes yogurt and porridge and, and things that kind of consistency. Um, at point of recording this, Reuben's favourite food is still standing at broccoli trees and um, sweet potato mash. They're his two favourite things. Um, but we are trying new things all the time. He very much likes yoghurt. Um, he very much likes cauliflower. Um, carrot is a bit hit and miss. Sometimes he eats it, sometimes he doesn't. But he likes banana, so hopefully banana custard will go down well. Um, oh, I've got a little bag of chocolate eggs. Oh, oh, actually no. Look, I have two things of chocolate eggs. Stacey Solomon made me buy it. Dime bars in caramel latte. These are not to be shared with John. These are just for me. <laughs> um, I also picked up some blue tack even though it's not called blue tack it's called sticky tack that happens to be blue um but it's blue tack's a brand isn't it and this is by sellotape um which i find quite funny because you always call sellotape sellotape even if it's by not by sellotape you know what i mean because sellotape is a brand it isn't the actual item Crazy, but yeah, needed some of that. I think, oh, no. one last thing. Nando's. Um, so I've been doing, if you watch the Meals of the Weeks, I've been doing quite a few, like, chicken um, baked in Nando sauces. Um, and I really like it. But the other day I saw somebody, like, if you do this, I think, again, it was on Instagram, they were, like, putting this just in a chicken sandwich, like, cooked sliced chicken in a sandwich and I'm like yes yes please um so yeah it's the Nando's Pyrenees Piri Piri mayonnaise in mild yum so yeah somehow that is 40 quid <laughs> but as I said Mr Peter Rabbit was 15 so takes up the bulk of it so yeah that is my home bargains haul and my ramble that I have shared with you um I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you're doing well staying safe um trying to keep going in this crazy little world we are we are nearly there you know vaccinations are being rolled out the world is going to return to some form of new normal soon hopefully so yeah guys take care and i will talk to you in the next one